praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us uh, thank God for that uh, singing program, Speaking About Christmas. Let us uh, go into our praise and worship session. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bless your name for this morning. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence, O oh Lord. We thank you for being with us at the beginning of the year, through everything that's happening in this year, O oh Lord, to this very moment. We thank you. We worship you for who you are. We thank you for your hand in our lives. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, as we come here today, O oh Lord, to give you praise and adoration, in remembrance of the day you came down for us to save us and to bring us into your kingdom. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let our praises, our adoration be acceptable in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus. And we also ask today, O oh Lord, that we've come to a place of blessings. Don't let blessings elude us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Prepare our hearts to receive you in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of the day, Father God, take all the glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is good all the time, and his love never fails. Amen. Amen. Because 
is faithful. In every generation, God is faithful. Amen. Regardless of situations, God is faithful. He's a mighty God. He's a wonderful God. He never fails. He does not even fail animals. Even grasses of the field, he doesn't fail them. So this morning, our first prayer point will be, Father, we thank you for enabling us to see the day that is called today. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you. We thank you, Almighty. By your grace, Father, we are alive. Even this very day, in spite of everything going on. Father, we appreciate you, Lord. Father, we say, glory be to your name, my God. Yes, you are a mighty God, full of faithfulness, full of righteousness. Your right hand of righteousness is full of power. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your name, Abba, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our next prayer point will be for the church of our Lord Jesus Christ in every nation. That the Lord will continue to make us to be very strong. Amen. That the Lord will continue to make us not to be confused by circumstances or situations going around in the world that we may be able to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ in every way. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you for your church. We pray for your church, Father, worldwide, that you enable us to remain strong in the faith. Father, that you help us not to allow anything to confuse us, not even allow political leaders to confuse us, Amen. that we may focus on Jesus. Father, even the apostle, apostles in their days, they never allowed the power that be in those days to confuse them. They focused on Jesus Christ. They continue to do the assignment. Father, help us in every nation. Amen. 
help us, my God and my Father, because you are above all. Every leader on earth is under your feet. Whatever you desire, you do, Lord. Yes. And you are count, the counsel of your will on earth will stand Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And finally, we're going to pray that God will encourage families that have lost their loved ones because of the pandemic. You know, this is the time people gather because of Christmas, but many today, they are not going to see their family members because they are dead. Only God can encourage them. No human being can encourage them. So at this very moment, let us pray. Father, encourage every family on the surface of the earth that have lost their loved ones in the pandemic, my Father in heaven. You are, you are the comforter. Father, comfort their hearts. Father, comfort them in every way. Strengthen them, Lord. Even the believers among them, Father, help them not to lose faith. Help them not to lose focus. Mm. To remain in you, Jehovah, my God. We give you praise, Abba, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. And therefore, Holy Father, as we continue, Lord, continue with us. Amen. And let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We'll just go straight on to our congregational hymn. We are grateful to God we are seeing another Christmas. Hallelujah. 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 And that we're here able to sing joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is born. Let her receive our King. Let every heart.
Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God for all that he has done for us by his grace. Before this time next year, yes. we'll be in our own building. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Here is only one name. There is only one name, power to save, power to save. There is only one name, there is only one name with power. The power to save every day. The power to save. There is only one name. Yeah. There is only one name. The name of Jesus. There is only one, one name. name. Power to save. There is only one name. There is only one name. Power to save. Oh, 
listen. Patmos fed, chief now, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, let's go. Patmos fed, chief now, chains be broken. for me. That's the title. We're going to take it again. Woo! Yes. Quickly, quickly. Yes. Let's go. Come on. Son of God who died for me has become the reason king. And he lives forevermore, triumphing over his foes. Yeah. His name is Jesus, his name is Savior, his name is Mighty God, and praise our peace. Lord of everything, oh, you 
you are the King of kings, the Lord of floods. You shall reign forever in love. Woo! Brethren, just worship God. Just bless him. Thank you, Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Savior. His name is Mighty God and the Prince of Peace. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever. Amen and amen. amen. Glory to God. Woo. Thank you, Father. Amen. amen. You know, somebody might say it's good, better for Easter, but it's also good for Christmas. Without Christmas, there's no Easter. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> it's also good for Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Without Christmas, there, will, there wouldn't have been any Easter. Yes. Praise God. It's a very powerful song. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, we thank you. Thank you, worship team. God bless you all. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for everything you have done for us through Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you, King of glory. Blessed be your holy name. Ancient of days, you are worthy, Lord. You are glorious. You are beautiful. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are powerful. You are the I am that I am. The rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the bright morning star, the ancient of days, the one who was and is to come, the mighty maker, the creator of all things, the maker of all things, the God of all salvation, the captain of our salvation, the God of all flesh, the father of our spirits. We thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we worship. In Jesus' name, we exalt God this morning. Holy Spirit, take up absolute preeminence. Come and breathe in us again. The life of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the life of Jesus that is in us. Thank you, Jesus, for your life that is in us. Through your blood, we have the life of Jesus. Through the death you died on the cross, you gave us life. Blessed be your name, O God. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Father. It's because of our time. If not, you know, I just would have loved to, you know, do a little bit more worship. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you may be seated and God bless you. For those that are watching from home and those that are watching from far and near, may the Lord open your heart this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are glad that we belong to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, the, the, the story of Christmas is a story we tell every year. Praise God. But, you know, the, the world, I don't, the world don't even know the Christmas they're talking about. What they know is to buy. That, that's the only thing they know. Just go and buy. And buy whatever. Same gift. That's not what Christmas is all about. Christmas is the announcement of the birth of Jesus. Praise God. But as Christians, even though we remember every year, but we are not in the category of just saying the birth of Jesus, the birth of Jesus. No, because we've been saved. The birth of Jesus has benefited us. It has brought us to who we are today as children of the living God. Praise God. Through his death. But that's why I've been, since last Sunday, I started the topic, the church must understand the times. The church must understand the times. Praise God. Because unless we understand the times, we cannot grow the way we are supposed to grow. You know, when you understand what you need to be doing, you will begin to do what you're supposed to be doing. But if you don't understand what you're supposed to be doing, you know, you can be doing things that are meaningless. Praise the Lord. May the church not do things that are meaningless. Glory be to God. That's why we must be people of understanding. And that's why when you read the book of Jeremiah, God said he will give to his people pastors who will teach them knowledge and understanding. That's the job of a pastor. 
Pastors not to tell stories. Praise the Lord. A pastor is not a toast. There is nothing about God that is a joke. Listen to me, church. There is nothing about God that is a joke. So those who go to be pooping and be joking, they have to be careful. Praise the Lord. Can a high priest in the Old Testament go into the, into the Holy of Holies and be joking there? Will he come out alive? You don't joke with God because there is no joke with God. Praise the Lord. That's why pastors are to teach the people knowledge and understanding. And knowledge is not just secular knowledge. It's revelation knowledge. Revelation. Knowledge coming out of what? Revelation of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be God. That's why if you are full of Christ, you will be as if you are insane. If you are full of Jesus, you will be as if you are insane. Jesus said the man who is born of the spirit, he said it's like someone, you know, he said the wind blows. You can hear the wind, but you don't know where it's coming from, neither where it's going. He said that's how someone who is born of the spirit is. And the Bible says he who is spiritual judges all things, but he himself is not judged by any man. Praise God. That's why the story of Christmas is a story a child of Christians should remember and glorify God, but not just to look at the, as if every year a child is born. But to now look at, look, our salvation, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to glorify God through Jesus Christ. And preach the gospel to those, to the unsaved through the gospel of Jesus. We preach the gospel to the unsaved so that they can believe in the name of Jesus and be saved. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning. I, I want to start from here as the Holy Spirit grants me grace. Let's start from the book of Isaiah. The prophecy of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. You know, when we're talking in the Sunday school today, it was about the Old Covenant, the New uh, Covenant, the sacrifice of animals in the Old Covenant, and the shed of the blood of Jesus as a, you know, in the New Covenant, to establish the New Covenant. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I don't preempt into their Sunday school, so I don't really see Sunday school what they want to teach. Praise God. Hallelujah. But if you look at this, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14, this is a prophecy that God was sending to Israel. And why was he sending this to Israel? Because God was tired of animal sacrifices for atonement of sin. God was tired. God was tired. You know, there was a point he told them that even if he needs to eat, he said he will not tell anybody. He said the cattle on a thousand hills are his. In other words, people think that bringing sacrifice of animals, they think that it was pleasing God. No, it was not. It was not. God was just using that as a, a temporary measure to sustain them so that he wouldn't consume them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that he wouldn't consume them. Because if the disobedience, God hates disobedience. God hates sin. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are too pure to behold what? Iniquity. To behold sin. So that's why when people talking about grace of God, I keep on saying that grace came to empower us. Grace came to save us through Christ, you can see. Save us. And then grace through Christ, the second phase of grace is now to teach us to deny ungodliness. To live holy. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. He said, therefore, Isaiah, no, we sh let's start from Isaiah chapter 9. Let's start from Isaiah chapter 9. Verse 6. In from verse 6, yes. Isaiah 9, 6. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Let's start from there. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that I can connect very well. He said, for unto us a child is what? Born. Unto us a, chi a child is what? Born. born. Praise the Lord. <laughs> unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Praise God. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. His name is Savior. His name is Mighty God. And Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Praise God. In verse 7, he said, of, it, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Hallelujah. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. The peace of God will establish you. Amen. That's why if you are born again, you are a child of peace. If you have Christ, you are a child of what? Peace. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. What of troublemakers? Exactly. So it's so obvious. Praise God. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The zeal of God. This was a prophecy coming to Israel. Now, Based on that, when you go back to Isaiah, go to Isaiah 7, 9, 14. It was good we started from here. Go to Isaiah 7, 14 now. He said, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. He was telling the prophet, behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. When you read it down, he said, God with us. If you read it in Matthew, Emmanuel, praise God. Hallelujah. You shall call his name Emmanuel. In other words, God is with us. So God came down to be with man, to understand the, the, the life of man, so that he can have mercy on man. God needed to be a man to have mercy on man. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. He came down to have mercy so that man can be saved. This was prophecy to Israel when God was announcing to them that the time for animal sacrifice will soon be over. <clears throat> Praise God. And when Jesus was born, he became that lamb of sacrifice without blemish. Because all the animals that are used for sacrifice, they must be without what? Blemish. Without spot. Without wrinkle. Praise God. And that's why Jesus came, you know, as a lamb without blemish. Without spot. There was no sin found in him. He was blameless. But yet he was a lamb of sacrifice. That's what saved us. That's what redeemed us. So the church should migrate from the level of, you know, being saved to the level of already saved Amen. through Christ Amen. and begin to live a life of growth and maturity. Growth and maturity with understanding and wisdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that's why he said, unto us a child is born, a son is given. I like this place. The government will be upon his shoulders. That is coming very soon. That's what the church is supposed to set their focus on. The church is supposed to focus now on the government of Jesus that is about to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Christmas message. But before you expect the government of Jesus to come, he will, must be, you must give him over the government of your life. Some people, people, believers claim saved, but they still govern their lives. You can be claiming saved, but and still be doing governing your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. If everything will be upon the shoulder of Christ, then let your life be upon his own shoulders. 
Let Jesus govern our lives. Let him be the governor of our lives. Praise the Lord. Let Jesus govern your decision. Govern what you do. The things we do must be pleasing to God. The Bible says that in him that he died for many. I think 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. 2 Corinthians 5, 15. Quickly, 2 Corinthians 5, 15. He said that in that he died for all. Listen to this. This is Christmas. A child was born to save. His name is called Emmanuel. God with us. Praise God. You know, in that, he said, and he died for all. That those who live, see how, listen to this thing. Because if the scripture, if the word of God does not bring us knowledge and understanding, we are not studying it. Praise the Lord God. If the word of God doesn't bring you knowledge and understanding, don't deceive yourself. You are not what? Study. Because the Bible says study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman who needed not to be ashamed, rightly, what did he say? Rightly, the word rightly means correctly dividing the word of truth. Correctly dividing means correctly understanding it. Correctly discerning it. The word of truth. So if you say you study the word of God and then you are not gaining knowledge and understanding, you are not studying the word of God. Praise God. Because if you study, it will show proof of itself. The word of God cannot be hindered. Paul said, even though I may be in chain, but the word of God cannot be in chain. You can't shut the mouth of the word of God. If you try to close his mouth, it will speak. You can't bury the word of God. It will come up to the surface. Amen. You can't lock it in prison. It will come out and speak. Amen. It cannot be in chains. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Amen. So children of God, this is a time. The church must understand the times. That this is a time to grow. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yeah. This is a time to grow. This is not a time to buy, uh, to buy shoe and buy candy of Christmas. Praise the Lord. This is a time to grow. This is a time to know the Lord. Praise God. It's a time to know the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why you say the government you know, shall be upon his shoulder. But let the government of your life be upon the shoulder of Christ. Because the day is coming, the government of this world system will be on the shoulder of Jesus Christ. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. I think I ran that verse um, from verse 18. You know, last Sunday here, I talked about when I introduced this theme, I know this weekend will be a Christmas service. You know, I'm going to be have a Christmas because there's no other Sunday before Christmas. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the, oh, we're talking about the ten virgin. You know, who came to meet, went to meet the bride, the bridegroom. Ten virgins. Ten of them were righteous because they were virgins. Praise God. Because it takes, it takes uh, living righteously to, to live a, a virgin life. Praise the Lord. They were virgins, which means they were pure in body and in soul. But they went to meet the bridegroom. That was the introductory part of this message last Sunday. But ten, the Bible said ten, we are what? Wives. Uh, sorry, five, we are what? Wives. And five was, we are also foolish. Praise God. And at the end of that message, I say, Lord, I pray that we will be among the wise ones. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this, in, this, in this dispensation, we will be among the wise ones. Amen. The Bible says, this that are wise will lead many to righteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the level the church should be. The church should leave the world at the celebration level. The church should leave this world system at the celebration level of Christmas and move to the level of empowerment. Amen. 
Move to the level of doctrine of Christmas. Move to the level of the gospel of Christmas. Salvation to all. As many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the children of the living God. Hallelujah. Even to those who believe in his name. That's the level we should be. Not the level of celebration. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have been there for long. I tell you, most of the time, celebration of things are actually signs of childhood. It's not a sign of adulthood. Praise God. Adulthood is marked with responsibility. Adulthood is not marked by celebration. Praise God. It's marked by duty. That's why when a child is born in the house, you, they celebrate. You buy candy, they celebrate. You buy cookies, they celebrate. You buy ice cream, they celebrate. You buy everything, is celebration. Praise God. You buy pizza, they celebrate. But there's a time when you expect them to be dutiful. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. The greatest celebration of believers is salvation. That's our celebration that we are saved. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. All oh, things are passed away. I am born again. More than a conqueror. That's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. That is the level we ought to be. Praise God. Hallelujah. So in verse 18, Matthew 1 from verse 18, say, now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example or public spectacle, was minded to put her away secretly. But why he thought about these things? Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take your to take to you Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will and she will be and she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. You shall call his name what? Jesus. Jesus. Look at the meaning of Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Redemption. Praise God. And that's why when the Sunday school was talking about the old and new covenant, it was talking about redemption. The new covenant is redemption. The old was not. The old was to reveal to men that they would have been sinful. <laughs> but the new covenant was to redeem men from sin. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. That's what he came to do. Redemption. Praise God. Hallelujah. For he, has, he will save his people from their sins. Amen. Amen. Now, look at verse 22. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet. You can see why we went to the prophets in the cross. This is the fulfillment. Saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the day you got born again, from that very day, God started being with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Praise the Lord Hallelujah. Jesus. From the day you got born again, from that hour, God started being with you. Why do you say you are alone? 
Why is it that when no one calls you, 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 you think that all have forsaken you? But there is one who is always with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is one who is always with you. That's why I don't bother whether anybody calls me or not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If I remember to call you, I will call you. But if you don't call me, no, no holler. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So because if you don't call me, there is one who is always calling me. And that is Jesus. Jesus. God the Father through his son Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Don't you know that he said to them he did for no he did predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You have a senior brother. Even if you don't have another brother on earth, there is one brother. Yes. That is Jesus, the senior. Yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Thank God we are not senior to Jesus. He is senior to everybody. Yeah. Ancient of days. Yes. He existed before all things. Yeah, he was never created. No. Rather, he created all things. Hallelujah. He was never made. Rather, he made all things. Before him, there was no God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Understand that as a child of God, you are a different plane altogether. Praise God. Praise God. I'm praising on the upward way. New heights and gain. Need every day. Complete it. <laughs> Lord plant my feet on higher ground, right? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that is it. So that is the, one, the reason why you must have full joy. Because he is God with us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you should not be afraid. That's why he said, have I not told you? You know, be thou strong and what? Courageous. Be thou strong and courageous. A lot of times Christians don't even feel the, the, the they, in, with it, they don't have an awareness of the presence of God. They don't have awareness of the presence of God. That's why everything in life shakes them. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, behold a virgin and you call his name God is with us. And Joseph being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took to him his wife and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he, call, and he called his name Jesus. Remember, it was Joseph that called that name Jesus. It was Joseph. He called his name Jesus. But look at the word Jesus. I want, I want us to understand a savior. In Luke chapter 2, verse 11. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Praise the Lord. This was the angel announcing to the shepherds. For there is born to you this day. It's not today as we are talking now. It was then. Praise God. But when he said his name shall be called Jesus, shall save his people from his sins. That is exactly what the world needs to embrace. For those of us who have embraced salvation through Jesus, then we need to go higher. We need to go to the level of knowledge and what? Understanding. Praise the Lord. Knowledge and what? Understanding. Living a life of victory. In Sunday school, they were asking, you know, about the forgiveness of sins. You know, yes, Jesus is our merciful and faithful high priest sitting at the right hand of God in heaven making intersection for us. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why if it's, I said it in Sunday school. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. What's an advocate? The one that's like an attorney. The one who pleads our cause before God. And he does that with his own blood. That's why he's a, a high priest in the order of what? Melchizedek. His office has no end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His priesthood has no end. Hallelujah. Amen. So he lives forever to make intercession for you and I. But that is not going to be an alibi for us to indulge in ungodliness. Praise God. 
Rather, it's going to be a reason why we must please God. Praise God. It must be a reason we must please God. In all ramifications, you please God. In all areas of our lives, we must please God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't receive, don't, uh, don't, don't accept the gospel that is not focused on Jesus and God the Father. Any gospel that's not focused on Jesus is a false doctrine. Praise God. Don't, don't take this gospel of personal in, in, in improvement and personal encouragement. No, it's about Christ. He has power to break every yoke. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I say he has power to break what? Yokes. Don't be under any yoke. Jesus has broken those chains. That's why it's all about him. Because you can't do personal improvement and save yourself. You can't do personal improvement and live righteously. It's impossible. You need the power of Christ to break those chains. That is what the people, believers, don't know. You will need Christ's power to break the chains of the devil over your life, over your family, over your future, over everything that concerns you. Break those chains over our children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we command today every chain, every chain of the enemy upon our children, every chain of ungodliness tonight because Jesus, your name is Savior. In the name of Jesus, I command those chains to be destroyed. Thank you, my father. Hallelujah. Yeah. What a mighty name. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Because that's who he is. That's why that's you. That's the gospel. You are God. You can do all things. Oh God, blessed be your name. Lord, blessed be your name. You are God, you are God. There is none like you. Holy Father, you are God. Oh yes, no one else can compare. Oh God, you are my God. Jesus, you can do all things. Oh God, bless and be your name. Oh Lord, Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the power of Jesus Christ. That's the power that Satan fears. That's the power that the devil runs away from. Because that power is like a sledgehammer. It breaks every opposition into pieces. Thank you, Heavenly Father. That is the power of Christ. That's what we call the power of Christ. Apostle Paul said, he said, the, the, he said the, the gospel did not come in just verbal words, but in power. Praise God. Because he is a savior. He is a redeemer. Wherever you are locked up, he will redeem you Amen. from that. Amen. I say wherever your life is locked up, he will redeem you from Amen. that. I want you to pray say, Father, in the name of Jesus, anywhere or God, my life is locked up. In the name of Jesus, because he's my savior, he's my redeemer. I command that place to be destroyed. I command that prison door to open. Let the power of Christ break every bars of iron. Gates of brass. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken into pieces in the name of Jesus. The gates of opposition be broken in the name of Jesus. 
The gates of hindrance is being broken in the name of Jesus. Because that is the power of Christ. Because he came to save. He came to redeem. All those ones that have been in the clutches of Satan. Father, therefore we prophesy. Every man, every woman that has been still remaining, that is still in the clutches of Satan across America, we prophesy in the name of Jesus, let them be set loose. Let the power of Christ break loose every clutch of evil. Break it into pieces. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your holy name. Yeah. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Yeah. Somebody shout the victorious hallelujah. hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Church, don't let the world make the name of Jesus look like a ceremony of buying and selling. That's what church is allowing the world to do. But when they say Christmas, it's buying and selling. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Satan is a liar and a schemer. Mm -hmm. He will go to the, uh, to the businesses and make them to bring down those ridiculous prices <laughs> so that you forget your Lord. Mm. All your mind will not be in. They finish this one, they do Black Friday, Black Saturday, Cyber Monday, all that. It's just to occupy your heart with mundane. <laughs> but those things cannot save you. Every year they do it. The one you bought last year added nothing to you. It's perished. It's gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The one you buy this year will add nothing to you. That's why Jesus said the man's life does not consist in the abundance of things that he possesses. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Unless you are full of Christ, this world can drag you to the left and drag you to the right and drag you up and down. Unless you are solidly filled with the power and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. They will drag you up and down. Praise God. Hallelujah. They will make you look as if you are, no, you are just a common person. Don't you know that we are not common? Amen. Believers are not common. Amen. If you are common, I am not. I, am not common. I have a, that's a big price over my head. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the Son of God was shed to purchase me. So I'm not common. Because believers carry themselves as if they're common. And yet God is saying in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, you are a chosen generation. A peculiar people. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. This is what we carry every day. We walk about like mere men. But don't you know we are kings? Don't you know we are kings and priests? But we roam around like mere men. Praise God. Because Satan, we want to do everything to demean the name of Jesus. And believers are just doing like the rest of the world. You see, sometimes some Christians are crushed in Black Friday. They are crushed in the storm. Sometimes they die. Going to buy TV. Believe me, going to buy TV. <laughs> Tell me, and you are crushed as a child of God. That's not the kind of death you should be dying. We should die peacefully as saints. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Not to be stampeded. The death of stampeding is the death of, of those who do not believe. Go and check in the Bible where it happened. In the time of Elisha, when there was famine, Elisha said, by this time tomorrow, food will be everywhere in Samaria. Ah, one man, an opposer, you know there are people, their own is to oppose. He said, look at you. What are you talking? Even if, even if God will open the heavens, eh? 
What are you talking about? That is a, that's an impossible thing. Elisha is a man of God. Elisha said, okay, because you didn't believe, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not test of it. You know how it came to pass? Those who went to get the food, stampeded dead on him. And he died. That is not the death of believers. But when you, when you plunge yourself into the world system, you can't be stampeded. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you as a roundup. Thank you. In John 1 29, John 1 29, the next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The church is supposed to be pointing to the world. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The church is supposed to be pointing to those in authority. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That's our job. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How can the whole world now take Christmas and it becomes their own? It becomes their own. They modify it. They do everything. They don't even mention Christmas anymore. They say happy holiday. And we follow them to do happy holiday. Praise God. They don't even call it Christmas. They say Xmas. Even in cards. In everything. Church. The Bible said. John saw him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Praise God. Behold the Lamb of God. That's our job. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Your friend, a friend is inviting you to Christmas party. You say to him, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Will you have boldness to even say that? Praise the Lord. May the Lord deliver us. Amen. Did you know that John the Baptist, who was shouting this, the, the system did not accept him. But did he care? No. Did he bother? No. Do you know believers care too much about the society? Want to be accepted? Then you are off. But John never cared whether anybody accepted him. Do you know what his food was? His food was honey, white honey, and locust. What was his clothing? Animal skin. That was his clothing. If John the Baptist were still preaching today, will he have followers? Will anybody believe that he was off from God? Because today, the essence of knowing a man of God is well dressed in six piece suit, or whatever, if there's six piece. And all kinds of things, all kinds of opulence. That's the way you recognize the man of God. John the Baptist was a great man from heaven. Praise the Lord. Jesus testified of him. But today, if John the Baptist were to be in our time, he would be an irrelevant man to those who are physically, to those who are blind spiritually. He said, look at, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In Acts chapter 4 verse 12, as I close, he said, neither is there salvation in any other. Salvation is not in any other name. Salvation is not in any other name. You cannot go to heaven in any other name. You cannot see God in any other name. You can only see God in the name of Jesus. You can only go to heaven through the name of Jesus. You cannot go to heaven in any other name. Whatever the religion may be, you cannot go to heaven. You can't go to heaven in any other name. Praise the Lord. Only name whereby a man can be saved is the name of Jesus. Israel call him Yeshua and Mashiach. That is Jesus, the Messiah. Praise the Lord. No other name 
Praise God. Our father went somewhere. You know, where to buy takeaway. You know, to go. Where to buy carry out food. Amen. It's an Indian restaurant. And then discussion ensued between us and the, 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 the owner. The owner's wife. And then we were trying to talk about Jesus. She said, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's, you know, we, all, all the religions are the same. No, 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 I didn't want to talk further because I don't want to extend the argument. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But I've mentioned the name Jesus. That would be a food for thought. Because that's what the world been. The world, Satan like those things that say, hey, any other way can reach God. No, that is the devil speaking. There is only one name. We sang it here. There is only one name. The power to save. Power to save. Hallelujah. Amen. Neither is there any other. For there is no other name under heaven. The word under heaven means this earth. <laughs> Whereby we must be saved. No religion can save anybody. Power of salvation is only in Jesus. Power of salvation is not in any other. Not in any religion. Whatever name they may call it. You know, there are some spiritual disciplines. Some religions in back of God. They can cross their legs. Cross and stay there and meditate for it. It cannot save you. Until your sins have been washed by the blood of Jesus. How can you go to heaven in a sinful body? No way. How can you carry sin and say you are going to meet God? How do you get there? I once asked a lady in an airplane. I said, okay, you want to go to heaven? She believes in other religion. I said, but if you want to go to heaven, now how do you go there? Is there any flight that can go there? Can you buy a ticket and say you're going to heaven? Praise the Lord. That's why the disciples asked Jesus, say, Lord, show how can we get there? Where is the way? What did Jesus answer? I, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no man comes to the Father except through me, says Jesus. Where is the other way? How can you get to heaven? Which spaceship will get, take you there? NASA can't take you there. No plane can take you there. No space shuttle can take you there. No rover, no unmanned spaceship can take you to heaven. Because except the man who came down from heaven. Because he came down from there. So any other person will tell you that he, he is a prophet of this or prophet of that. How can he take you to heaven? Has he ever been there? But we are talking of the Lord who came down from heaven. Shout a big hallelujah. He came down from there so he knows the place. So he has seen the Father. No man has seen the Father. But the Son of God who was with the Father from the That's your faith. Yes. Time is making me end this message. Time is making me end this message. Believe me. Because there's still a lot more. A lot more. I haven't preached any message of Christmas like this in my life. That's why I know that God is working. He wants to push us forward. I have not preached any Christmas message like this all my life as a pastor. That's why, oh God, time. Father, we thank you tonight. Pray then talk to God. Give him thanks. Give God praise. Give God praise. Kaprostaba. Chi. Kalova Satada. Basharabaka Satada. Thank you, Jesus. And I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise. God, I give you all the praise.
of the praise, oh, oh God. Can you love me more? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Worship team, join me. So use it. Thank you, Jesus. And I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise, God. I give you all the praise, oh, oh God. I give you every praise, God, and I give you all the praise, Jesus. I give you all the praise, oh God. I give you all the praise, oh God. I give you every praise, Jesus. I give. salvation of my soul, my Lord and Savior. Thank you. Glorious God in Jesus' mighty name. For those who have prayed that prayer anywhere, you are now a child of God. You can begin to rejoice because the seal of sonship is on you. The Lord has put a seal of sonship and that seal is the Holy Spirit seal whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. The final day when Jesus comes to take away his people. Glory and honor to your holy name, Father. And I pray, we're going to pray one prayer. We're going to pray one prayer. Everyone pray for your family. And say, because of the power of Christ, that everything in my family that is not aligning to the word of God, 
to the will of God. Let the Lord Jesus, the power of Christ, we break that yoke now. Break the pray. See everything in my family. Everything in my family. Every situation that is not aligning with the perfect will of God. Let that yoke be broken. Let that yoke be destroyed. Let the will of God be established. Let the power of Christ destroy every hand of Satan in your family, in my family. Every hand of the devil be destroyed. Every hand of oppression by the power of Christ, the Savior of the whole world, be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Brethren, you can give your tithes and offerings. It's time for us to quickly take our tithes and offerings. Yes. Worship them and just raise your song. Your tithes, your offerings, your bills. Your offerings, your bills. Your offerings, your bills. Your offerings, your bills. Because of the power of Christ. To you alone be glory. Hallelujah. 
For in Jesus' name, Amen. we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we share the grace in one accord? Now you're going to share this grace with a heart of understanding. Can we share that grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shout the victorious hallelujah. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Go in the name of Jesus.